So hello and welcome to this quick tutorial where I will show you how to use CryptoMet with Blender and Octane. I was asked about this topic in a comment so I thought I could make a quick um, and easy video about how to use this with Blender and Octane. Um, if you want to get into detail with that, um, a video will be in the info card right now. So just click on that and watch the video when you want to get in depth with that. But uh, yeah, I will do a quick video here on this topic. Um, okay, so what do I mean by CryptoMet? Maybe some people never heard of that. And I have to say I'm not that experienced with that as well. But uh, basically um, you use this CryptoMet node and a few view layers that you have to activate. I will show you the whole process in a minute. I just want to show you first what the result can do and what you use this for. Um, okay, so we have a node set up here inside of the compositor and um, we have this render layers that we feed into the CryptoMet, then into a mix and then into this viewer node in our case. And as you can see down here, we have three objects in the scene and uh, two of these objects are white that's because i have a brightness and contrast node down here so i can adjust the brightness and as you can see in the background i'm only affecting these two objects and that's exactly what we want to use this cryptomat node for in order to get certain parts of the scene to um, be affected it's basically a little bit like a mask but you can use this for many different things so how do we get here to start, you of course need a scene that you want to use the um, CryptoMed on. And in my case, it's pretty simple. It's just an HDRI and three objects in here, one sphere, one head and one cube. And um, all of these just have a simple universal material on them. And um, the albedo is just changed to blue, green and red. Okay, so if you have your scene and you are happy with everything, then we now have to activate certain passes. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. Just go to this side panel over here. And in here is the view layer properties tab. We click on that. And in here we have a few view passes basically. And in here I want to go into the denoiser because I want to use this beauty denoise. Um, that's pretty standard. That's basically the image we want to get. Um, the, it, it's just, it just looks like the one you see right here in the viewport, but denoised. And um, then we have to go down to the CryptoMet tab, just down here. And in here we want the instance ID. Um, in certain cases you will need the Met node um, uh, uh, pass as well, but in this case we only use the instance um, ID. Okay, when you check that, it's important that you go out of the rendered view in the viewport and now we go to render, render image and that will render out one image um, of our scene with all the passes that we just checked. So right now you can see that the screen is black, everything rendered out. Um, you can go down here and see the view layers, um, but uh, we just close uh, the Blender render window and uh, now when we are back inside of Blender, we go into the compositing tab. And in here you can see that everything looks a little bit different than it does with you. Um, this is because you have to check use notes up here. And in my case, you see that there is this picture in the background. Um, in your case, that might not be the case. So um, how do we get there? just um, go in here and press shift a and then you go for a viewer node and take the viewer node and now we can plug our passes that are here in the render layers node and we for example take our octane denoise beauty pass and we plug it into the image of the viewer node and now we can see our picture that we just rendered out um, in the background. Um, if you want to zoom in, just press, press uh, uh, Alt and V, or if you want to zoom out, just press V 
and uh, you get out of the picture or in the picture. Okay, so, so far so good. What can we do now to only affect certain objects in our scene by nodes inside of this? So first thing is we press Shift A and we search for CryptoMet and we want the CryptoMet legacy node, this one. And now we can take the denoise beauty pass of the render layers node and we plug it into the image of the CryptoMet node. And then we can take the octane crypto instance ID output of the render layers node and we put it into the crypto up here. So like that, this is set up. Now we will use another node by pressing Shift A again and searching for a mix node. Here it is. And now we put this inside here. And now we have the Octane Denoise Beauty Pass plugged into the first image of the mix node. Now we have to add brightness and contrast node. And this is just to show what we are affecting in a second. So in order to now select certain objects in your scene, we will take the Octane Crypto Instance ID pass and we plug it into the viewer node that is over here. And like that, we have in the background these objects that you can see. Um, right now, one is only outlined and two are filled with this yellow color. And uh, now we can select which object we want to affect. In my case, I want the sphere and the cube to be affected. So I go down here to the CryptoMat um, node. And in here is this little plus, And I just click on that. And I click on the cube. And now you can see that something was added into the window or the text box down below. And if I click on the plus again, and I this time select the sphere, now there are two things in this um, box down here. And this is because we now have added both objects to this node. And of course you can take the minus and select an object and it will be removed. So let's add it back in. And now we will um, yeah, basically set up everything so we can affect the brightness of these two objects. So I take out the connection of the Octane Crypto instance ID out of the view node. Now everything is black because there's no input there. And I will put the mixed output image into the image of the view node. And now we have to continue. So first of all, we take the image out of the CryptoMet node and we plug it into the image or the second image of the mix node, like that. And now we can take the bright and contrast node and put it in between there. And like that, in the background, you can see that we now only have the um, two objects that we selected in the CryptoMet node. And uh, if I adjust the brightness up, it gets the two objects get brighter. Or if I turn up the contrast, the contrast goes up. But the rest of the scene is not there yet. So I take the mat output and put it into the factor of the mix node. And like that, you can see that our scene has come back and everything looks normal. But when I turn up the brightness again, so it is so the objects are completely white, you can see that this node that is in between the image out of the CryptoMet node and into the um, image, second image connector of the mix node is now affecting only the objects that we selected. So we can adjust the brightness. You can put other nodes in here, for example, color correction. You can do masking with that. Um, everything you want, but that basically is how you use the CryptoMat passes inside of Blender with Octane. So a few things before the video ends. Um, if you want to export a certain uh, pass or um, something out of here, of course you can. You have to plug the um, output of the mix node into the composite node, 
so it gets rendered when when I would hit render image again then you will see that in the end the um, the brightness will be adjusted for these two objects and the picture that we saw in the background um, of our compositor is now rendered out and we could save it in here or the alternative is to go in here press shift a again and go to output and take a file output and just put it in here then you could export multiple passes um, at the same time so that should be it for this video i hope i could help you and if you liked the video and if i could help you out please consider leaving a like and subscribing and i see you next time